I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Benevolent Flower, for sending this news article out of Connecticut News 8, August 16, 2018. 19 additional drug overdoses in New Haven. Total nears 100. Now, I did a story um, yesterday, and it was up to 30 people that they found overdosed near a park in New, uh, Connecticut, New Haven. Now, it's near 100 people. You know, this is in a 24-hour period, y'all. That is just outrageous. But you know what? This just this exposes how many people are using out here as far as drugs are concerned. This is exposing it. After 76 drug overdoses in New Haven Wednesday, another 19 people have overdosed in the city on Thursday. New Haven Police Chief Anthony Campbell told News 8 Thursday afternoon that an additional 19 people have overdosed in the city on Thursday. That brings the total to 95 overdoses in the past two days. First responders have stepped up patrols across New Haven Thursday following 76 drug overdoses in the city on Wednesday. Three people are under arrest while federal, state, and local authorities are continuing their investigation Thursday. A handful of people are still at Yale New Haven Hospital after overdosing yesterday, and a few more overdoses have been reported on Thursday. On the New Haven Green, where many people overdose Wednesday, many people spoke with News 8 reacting to what happened. I would like to see people get help. Get help. It's poison. To me, it's a disease, one man said. We saw firefighters, paramedics, police running in different directions attending to these people, a witness said. There are no people who stayed in this ground for more than two minutes on the green yesterday. There are reports that the synthetic marijuana, known as K2, was laced with fentanyl, which is often used to treat pain. It can be deadly in high doses. Of course it can. News 8 spoke to a New Haven Director of Emergency Management, Rick Fontana, Thursday morning, who said that a K2 sample tested by the DEA tested negative for the presence of fentanyl. Fontana did note that one of the patients sent to the hospital did test positive for fentanyl in its toxicology screen, which could have been a separate incident. So, you know, this is really terrible for that amount of people to have to be treated. Now, I don't know what happened here. Uh, it looked like it got a little screwed up there. You have people out here who don't have moral support from their parents, grandparents. You don't know what's going on in someone's mind. You don't know what people are dealing with, a witness said. Of the 76 people that overdosed Wednesday, 72 were sent to Yale Haven, New Haven Hospital, while four refuse medical treatment. Well, there's not much you can do if they refuse, they're, you know, especially if they're of age. But, I mean, this is terrible. All right, latest New Haven County news. I mean, this is really terrible. You know, but hey, we know that in America, drugs are... It is just something that's going through the roof. And there's so many different drugs that people are taking these days. I guess we really can't be surprised by something like this. It sure won't be the last time it happens. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.